Hi, my name is Lisa Costello and I'm a support consultant with Awesome. And today I'm going to be taking you through using the subsidiary navigator in NetSuite. The subsidiary navigator is a managed suite app and it's automatically updated whenever there are changes. These issue fixes and enhancements are available after the suite app is updated in your account. The subsidiary navigator enables you to limit the information displayed on your dashboard, searches and reports to a specific subsidiary or a group of subsidiaries. The portal contains a chart from which you can select the subsidiary whose records you want to display. Choosing a subsidiary this way works the same as using the restrict view to a subsidiary option in the user's set preferences. And the subsidiary navigator will only work with NetSuite One World accounts. So in this short video, we're going to show you how to install the Suite app, set it up on your dashboard, and then how to use the subsidiary navigator. So before you can install the subsidiary navigator, you need to ensure that the following NetSuite features are enabled, the client suite script and the server suite script. To check if these have been enabled in your account, you need to go to Setup, Company, and Enable Features. And then you need to go to the Suite Cloud tab once that page comes up. And there then you'll see a Suite Script section and make sure the Client Suite Script and the Server Suite Script, both options are enabled. To install the subsidiary navigator, we then go to Customization, Suite Bundler and search and install bundles. And in the keyword search, if you type in bundle ID number 44281 and enter, the subsidiary navigator should appear in the returned results. To install it, we click on it and then click on install. And bear in mind to do this installation, you need to be logged in as the administrator to complete it. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to set up the subsidiary navigator. So I'm going to click back to my dashboard. And from your dashboard, you click on personalize. And on the left hand side, you'll have an option there for suite apps. Click on that and you'll now see a new icon for a subsidiary navigator. If we click on that, it will then put the portlet onto my dashboard. Once I have that added, I close up my personalized section and we'll then see the subsidiary navigator on screen. So for every subsidiary I have, there'll be um, it, there'll be a branch or a box for it. And then if that subsidiary branches out for even further into more subsidiaries, you'll see those as well. So you'll see any of the subsidiaries that your role has access to. And currently I'm logged in as the administrator, so I have access to all subsidiaries. So the settings on your subsidiary navigator just here. So we have an option to enable tooltip. At the moment, I have this disabled. If I turn this back on again, I just click on my little slider. And then when I hover over my subsidiary, you get some information based on the subsidiary. So what country is it in? What is the currency? And what is the address? If I don't want this little tooltip to appear, I can just click on the slider again. And once it slides over, the changes are automatically effective. So it doesn't appear. The next setting you have is your show logo. So when these subsidiaries were set up, I added in the country flag for them. So that was saved to the file cabinet. You could have a company logo or whatever you may have, and it will be added in here. And it might be easier to distinguish which subsidiary is which. If you don't want these logos to show, you can click your slider and then they disappear or they can reappear again. If you want them again, just like the tooltip, these features, they update automatically. These settings options here, they will only be available um, for the administrator accounts. So the next thing we're going to look at is using the subsidiary navigator. So you can restrict your view to a particular sub subsidiary or a group of subsidiaries, and this can be done in two ways. The first one is that you can click the subsidiary from the portlet. So if you take note over here, if you have a look at my reminders on the far side here, these are currently the reminders for the subsidiary that I have selected. So these are the reminders based on um, the Netherlands subsidiary. If I choose the United Kingdom, my reminders will change based on the United Kingdom subsidiary. And likewise, if I choose the parent company, which brings in all subsidiaries, my reminders will update to include all subsidiaries. This is something you need to bear in mind. If I have chosen one particular subsidiary from the navigator, portlet. If I then go to run a report or to run a safe search, 
those results that come back from that safe search of those reports will be based on the subsidiary that I have selected in the portlet. If you realize this happens and you wanted to show all information, you don't want to be restricted to a particular subsidiary. If you go back to so your subsidiary navigator on your dashboard and click your parent company, you'll then include all subsidiaries in your searches and in your reports. The other option is that when you log out of NetSuite and you log back in again, the subsidiary navigator portal, it's like it doesn't reset. So when you log back in again, it, it will include all subsidiaries unless you choose one of the subsidiaries from the portal. Another thing to bear in mind is when you're logged in using a custom role, the subsidiary portal will only display the subsidiaries that are assigned to that particular role. So at the moment, as I mentioned, I'm logged in as the administrator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in as a different role. I'm going to go into my accounting analyst role. And you should see a change then on my subsidiary navigator portlet. I only have access to Ireland and the, the, the UK. So again, if you see there my reminders, they will update based on the Ireland subsidiary. And then again, if I choose the United Kingdom, they will update or I can choose my parent company. And if I choose my parent company, I will only get Ireland and the UK. It won't include the other subsidiaries that I don't have access to. I'm going to change my role again. And at this time, I'm going to choose a sales role. In my sales role, the subsidiary navigator, it's not going to work. This, when I log in on this role as a salesperson, I only have access to one subsidiary. When that happens, the navigator portal is not going to work because everything you do in NetSuite is based only on one subsidiary. So there is no use for the subsidiary navigator. There are no subsidiaries for you to jump between. You, you use one and that's it. So you don't need the portlet for that. So if that is your case and you don't need it, you can click on remove. So next I'm going to log in as a different role, my AR analyst role. So if a custom role only has um, sub subsidiaries assigned to it, so this one, for example, doesn't have access to the United States, but does have access to Boston and California. So it will show the two of them. But it also will display the parent subsidiary that it belongs to and any further subsidiaries that it belongs to further up the branch, but I can't select them. I can't choose the United States on its own. I can choose my parent. I can't choose my parent company either. I can choose between one of my two sub subsidiaries. And if I want to include both subsidiaries, I can click on my parent company and it will give me the two of them again. I hope this topic has been useful, but if you have any other further questions, you can always contact us and support at support at awesomecloud.ie. There is also some more information in NetSuite and Suite Answers. So the following articles on screen, you'll be able to look for more information. But as I said, if you have any questions, you can always contact us on the support email address shown on screen. And thank you. <laughs>